Ms. Aurora is back, Secured Entrepreneurs. In this video, Ms. Aurora has got to get into this Delaware Statutory Trust. We had yet another gentleman send us some documents. Ms. Aurora, I'm trying to do a statutory trust. I'm trying to do this Delaware Statutory Trust is what he said in the email. Can you please take a look at my documents and tell me what it is that I need to do next? So, you know, Mr. Warren looked at the documents and said, the next thing you need to do is get on the calendar because this is a mess. <laughs> okay. So we're going to get into how it is you're actually going to create a Delaware statutory trust. For those of you who have interest in that, for my secured entrepreneur investors, if you have an interest in investing in a Delaware statutory trust, I'm going to talk to you about that. All right. Can we do it? All right. So for those of you who do not know who I am, I am Mr. Aurora Day and I've helped hundreds of entrepreneurs just like you build six and seven figure tax free businesses. You heard it right. Stick around. All right. So this is the secured entrepreneur movement. secured entrepreneurs what is this delaware statutory trust well the delaware statutory trust is a real estate structure it is a real estate ownership structure that is allowing investors to own a fractional interest in the commercial properties that this trust is holding okay now this gentleman has some trust documents true indeed but what he did not understand is that a real estate company would actually be the entity or the agency to create a delaware statutory trust so i asked this gentleman if he had a real estate company he said no okay so that's the first strike he's not going to be able to create this Delaware statutory trust. He does not have any commercial real estate for an investor to invest in. He just does not have this thing together. Somebody sold him these documents and told him that he now had a bona fide Delaware statutory trust. It is false. Okay. So number one, you've got to be a real estate company. Okay. Number two, you have got to choose a trustee. The trustee, according to the Delaware Statutory Trust Act of 2002, the trustee for a Delaware Statutory Trust must be a resident of Delaware. Okay. You would also need to choose a registered agent who is also a, re a resident of Delaware. So you already know that this person did not have any of that going on. All right. So you choose the trustee next. You've got to create the trustee agreement. Now, some of the vital things that the trustee agreement, uh, this disagreement did not have number one, let's get into the income, the profits. When are these investors going to, uh, be paid? Are they going to be paid monthly? Are they going to be paid quarterly? Okay. None of that is in here. Okay. We didn't even have any information about the accreditation of the investor. Now for, for, for all of you who have an interest, you must know that you must be an accredited investor to invest in a Delaware statutory trust. All right. That means that as a single person, you would be making about $200,000 annually as a married couple, you would be making $300,000 annually, or you would just have a $1 million net worth. Okay. So none of this was in any of these documents that the gentleman sent over. The next thing you would have to file a certificate to be a Delaware statutory trust down at the secretary of state. And I believe it's the corporations division in there in Delaware. Okay. So he didn't even have the document to, to do the filing. He says to me, Oh no, I think that that was already done. Okay. How, how did you think that? Because if somebody filled out something like that for you, you don't have the correct information uh, to give to the Delaware secretary of state. So it would be rejected. Like what is going on? Okay. So he did not have any of the credentialing to even file for the certificate. Now, what you need to know is that once you file 
uh, the certificate to be a Delaware Statutory Trust. Everything checks out. You are now known as a Delaware Statutory Trust sponsor. Now, as the sponsor, because this is the other thing that, you know, we had to talk about. We, he didn't have that together either. As the sponsor, you are the initial investor. The real estate company is the initial investor into whatever commercial properties are being held by this trust for people to invest in. Okay. You are the initial investor. Well, he had no monies to invest. He had no property, nothing like this here. Okay. I really don't know where this was going. All right. So I said, we, we've got to let the secured entrepreneurs know that this is, this is happening out here. Okay. So I asked him if he himself had invested in anything where he needed a 1031 exchange. Was he trying to invest to uh, earn some passive income? He was like, no. Okay. So let me tell the secured entrepreneurs why we're interested, why we're interested in investing in a uh, Delaware statutory trust. Number one, we know that the Delaware statutory trust is going to help us with our 1031 exchanges. Okay. We know this. We want this situation simply because we already know here in the secured entrepreneur movement, we believe in tax free wealth, right? Well, the capital gains tax that we would have had to pay to the internal revenue service, we now hand over to this Delaware statutory trust. Okay. And it's invested. Why are we doing that? Well, nine times out of 10, this Delaware statutory trust already has pre vetted assets for us to choose from. We only have 45 days to pick an eligible property to do the exchange with anti ways. <laughs> okay. And sometimes that's not really that easy, but if we are a part of this Delaware statutory trust, we, we, we have, you know, we stand a greater chance of having a property that is eligible, a property that is a match, right? Then we have 180 days to close. So, you know, we need, we need this assistance. Okay. We need the assistance. So we got the pre vetted assets. We got the timing, right? Also, we have the ability to legally avoid the capital gains tax that we would have had to pay because now we're selling a property that is worth more than what we bought it for. Right? Okay. Not only that, we have the opportunity now to get in on some nice passive income because we are investing now as an accredited and accredited investor. Now, most of these Delaware statutory trusts are going to ask for a minimum, you know, investment of about a hundred thousand dollars, but many are only asking for a minimum investment of $25,000. Okay. So it's, it's rather easy to get into. Okay. And I, and I would, I would suggest that if in fact you're going to be in the real estate game and you know that you're going to be buying and selling and all of these wonderful things, why not invest in a Delaware uh, statutory trust that is going to actually assist you in making this thing happen in a timely manner and assisting you in earning some passive income. I mean, you know, Hey, it's just something that you may want to look into. So the other thing that you have to know is that as an investor in the Delaware statutory trust, you become a beneficial owner in all of the assets that the trust is holding. Okay. You become a beneficial owner of all of the assets that the trust is holding holding. Now understand this, please, because this is the other thing that there was something written in his documents where the, the investor would have the opportunity to sell a, a property when they felt the need to do so. And all of this, that is false. That is false. Okay. No beneficial owner has the right to any one property that they don't have the right to, to the, to any of the properties to say they're going to do anything to the properties. This is, this is a fractional ownership and you will be paid. However, they're going to dis distribute the profits. Okay. Whether it be monthly, whether it be a uh, uh, quarterly yearly, however, they're going to do it. That's how you're making money. Okay. But all of the perks 
are there for you if in fact you know you're going to be buying and selling real estate and you want to make money i mean there's a win-win there however i want to get into the fees the fees nobody really likes the fees <laughs> Yes, there are fees associated with the Delaware Statutory Trust. This gentleman was not aware of. The Delaware Statutory Trust has fees on three levels. This trust has upfront fees, operating fees, and disposition fees. We've got seller commissions. Why? Because most of the investment sales are being done by third-party groups. We've got managing broker dealer allowances. We know that the Delaware statutory trusts are known as securities. So for the most part, the offerings are being done by what they call managing broker dealers. We've got wholesaling fees. We know that these are the representatives who assure that we have all of the proper documentation and information needed to sell an offering. Then of course you're going to have the organization and offering expenses because you need marketing materials that there's fees for that there's fees for the sec registration okay so bear that in mind and then i would say most importantly the acquisition fees because we know that the sponsor which is the delaware statutory trust is going to have a finder's fee for going out there to scout out negotiate and acquire the assets. So Mr. Aurora would say moving forward that if you have an actual interest in investing in a Delaware statutory trust, you want to do your due diligence. You want to check the SEC filing, make sure that everything is on the up and up. You want to make sure that this trust company is not having any capital issues because that could be a huge issue for investors. All right. I believe that that's all Mr. Aurora wants to share about the Delaware statutory trust in this video. You all know you can email your questions, info at auroradayconsulting.com. And if you have not yet, you need to go down into the description box and get the legacy wealth training. Okay. Get the legacy wealth training because that's what we're, that's what this is about. <laughs> creating your legacy of wealth. And you all know you can find me, Miss Aurora Day, at auroradayconsulting.com. And until next time, ta-ta.